Hello everyone, this is Inayat Meer with a special request to make an iSCSI installation video, iSCSI target. So this video should be somewhere between my previous videos, but take this as number 10 video. First, I am going to add a new hard drive. So this will be a 100 gigabyte hard drive. So I'm adding an additional hard drive on my DC dev.com. So dev.com is my domain controller. So I'm adding here a second hard drive, 100 gigabyte for demo purposes. Later on, you have seen my other videos. Actually, I customized uh, this drive to 250 gigabyte and assigned in to my two ESXi 6.5 hosts a logical unit number a shared storage so here I have added a new hard drive which is 100 gigabyte we can now power on the server the server which is my domain dev.com I am going to log in as an administrator I do have enterprise admin rights on this domain as well from my tools actually from my tools menu I can go into my computer management first I have to expand this drive I have to bring this drive online and initiate and create a partition first you have to bring this drive online then you initialize create a partition because I am making a small drive so I'm gonna use a default option I would make a good if it is a over 2 terabytes so I'm using 100 gigabyte with the drive E this will be my drive label SAN S A N SAN storage area network. So this is something I was missing with my this uh, ESXi or VMware video series. So I am adding uh, due to some uh, uh, requests uh, through the email. So here you see my empty drive, a new drive available. So I am good to assign this. This is the way I'm showing you here from server manager. You click on iSCSI. If it's not installed, you don't have to go and choose your add or remove programs and features. You directly click on to install iSCSI target server. And this will be a direct installation. You don't have to click anything except next, next, next and finish. That's all. So you got already everything selected because this server uh, is now uh, becoming a iSCSI target where I can add my initiator. So these are my ESXi servers on the other end where uh, these server are looking for a storage. So I am going to add storage to these servers, but the storage is coming from my E drive from my uh, iSCSI SAN server. So that is where I installed my iSCSI target to make my DC also a iSCSI SAN server. So that is now ready. The next step is to add virtual uh, uh, disks into this server and then assign my iSCSI uh, assign my ESXi both hosts host 1 and host 2 uh, that part is after you create those two disks here I am going to create a first new disk DC10 is my host name of my domain. E drive is a my selection where I'm going to create a test virtual disk. 
first i gonna put only 10 gigabyte for demo purposes out of 100 i still have a 90 gigabyte left over so then i will use a second drive this is my disk one so second i would make maybe 80 gigabyte but this is just a concept for everyone who ever was looking for uh, this installation because I know that during my first nine videos I did not show you the installation part and I may have showed you the creation of the virtual disks part. Here you can use and browse a host name or you can add IP address. My IP of my uh, ESXi host one is 192.168.1.19 the second one is 20 like a 20 192.168.1.20 so i do have both esxi hosts as initiator or my target from my iSCSI sense server i would be able to provide this logical unit number or storage to those two esxi hosts so I will add at the very end my video 8 link as well and I will try to put my uh, some valuable links uh, under my uh, video description so you can uh, go and take a look that how I actually uh, provisioned uh, this storage on my ESXi host so that was uh, done in video number eight this is my second drive same procedure 80 gigabyte on my dc10 or on my dev.com domain so now i have two drives actually two virtual disks available for those two targets let me show you scroll down and right click on your sen from dc10 from here under initiators you can see my both esxi 6.5 hosts available so these two are basically i am targeting so th those both uh, hosts will be able to obtain the storage from my server so this is my again uh, second server the name of this server is uh, vcenter1 this is not my SAN server here I have a, a vSphere installed vSphere client installed so that is where I am going to uh, use uh, I have used this in video number eight I don't have to show you now this again how to obtain storage so I am going to give give you this link so simply you can go ahead and watch video number eight for the next part of this one and I hope you like this video I will see you in my next video have a good time bye